there, mortals! It is me, Sheogorath! You have the honor to listen to my comments on the coronation of King Charles! Yes, the old chap has been waiting for this opportunity for more than half a century! And now that he is finally able to put the crown on this balding gray head of his, he is finding out that during the reign of his mother, Elizabeth, people invented a thing called the Internet. Before we get into the meat of making fun of old Charlie Boy here, I want to make a few comments. First of all, they should have hired me as the photographer for the event. King Charles is not even smiling. I bet I could make him smile. I am a natural at making people smile. When I say, say cheese, they all start smiling. The camera loves you. Say cheese, say cheese, say cheese. I am telling you, cheese. I could have also done some catering, but unfortunately, I am banned from making any food myself for the foreseeable future after an incident some of you might be familiar with. It all started with me making a large hamburger. Crazy hamburger! Crazy hamburger! Crazy hamburger! Crazy hamburger! Let's forget that ever happened. In any case, one of the first things you notice is how ridiculous he looks in this crown. This is supposed to be the 21st century. You're not supposed to have kings or queens who wear crowns that barely fit their noggin. He also looks like he does not want the job. He's been waiting for it for so long that he got too old for it. Seriously, our old Charlie boy should have done the same thing as the Japanese emperor and given his throne to someone younger, like William or even Harry. Scratch that. There is no way Harry is getting the throne. He's too busy being a doormat. However, King Charles went ahead and became king. Now we have to deal with the biggest problem of his reign. Sausage fingers! Yes, you heard me right. We have to deal with sausage fingers. I guess the Polish influence on the United Kingdom is growing. Their premium kielbasa made all the way to the royal coronation. Najlepsza kielbasa na świecie, kurwa! But you're not here to see me rant about meat products all day. Plus, looking at those things for a prolonged period kind of makes me feel uneasy. That's a lot coming from the mad god. Here, old Charlie boy is reading some kind of oath or something. I find this absolutely ridiculous. He had more than an eternity to memorize the oath and impress everyone by reciting it in front of millions of people. What did he do instead? He read it almost in the same way as Joe Biden with his oversized teleprompters. A true king does not need a prompt. Speaking of Joe, he wasn't at the ceremony. I mean, he's right. Why would you attend this snooze fest when you can have a snooze fest at the White House? Also, attending the coronation ceremony of your former colonial overlord would be in poor taste. King Charles doesn't even look like royalty. If you remove all the royal regalia, he looks like the guy who is staring at you creepily at your local Denny's. Why should he be different than them? Let Jeremiah, age 69 from Ohio, be king. There would be no difference whatsoever. Oh, and let's not forget Camilla. She's looking very queen-like and more suited for the role of royalty than Charles. However, we must not forget the absolute disaster of a royal magnitude that had to happen for her to be in this position. I mean, more power to her. She wanted to be with the man she truly loved. <sighs> However, there probably was a more tactful way she could have handled the situation. Looking at this whole affair made me realize something, and this world is truly ruled by me, Sheagorath. Seriously, I'm an expert when it comes to crazy people and crazy things, but a developed European state spending its tax money on an overrated cosplay convention is ridiculous. I heard that some people even got arrested for criticizing the royal family. I can't stand Harry and Meghan, but maybe those two had a point. Just give the crown to them and turn it into a reality TV show. At least they can make more money from hate watchers and stop spending the people's tax money. Most people pay very high taxes there. And spending it on affairs like these is idiotic. I mean, have you seen the UK? The inflation is through the roof, and some out-of-touch gentlemen decided to make hungry children even more hungry by cutting government aid. Thank you all for watching. If you want more Shea Gorath, you should comment down below. My Lord Shea Gorath, please review Honkai Star Rail in your next rant. Or comment cheese. Cheese. Cheese.